So th this recipe, th this recipe he uh, he presented here, that is right. actually we enough liquid for ready. two cocktails. I would say we're gonna start in a few minutes. It smells nice though. Okay, <laughs> so. Uh, <laughs> Do you know, this reminds me of something immediately. <laughs> uh, when I used to work in a bartending school, uh, I, would, I used to have to explain the difference to my students who didn't speak English so well, the difference between sour and bitter. How would you Judge explain that? It's real simple, <laughs> facial expression. If it's too bitter, it's like this. If it's too sour, it's like this. And I just pulled the sour face. That, that drink is definitely too sour. Deduction judges step Let's see by. what the judges have to say, but 90 mils in, of lemon juice in any drink. Um, in the so beginning, next on stage, I thought that maybe Poland, he he, Anthony Wyszynski, he meant he meant noise. he meant to do it that way. But I thought he was a genius. I thought nobody's ever done this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This guy's so onto something. Start in three, uh, two, one, play. It. That's how okay, we're we seeing a nervous start cool. from our next guy. Anyway, we have um, Antoni I mean, Antoni Wyszynski on the stage. Który niestety upuścił już jeden kubek, ale spokojnie, może Antoni się podniesie. Uh, Antoni Wyszyński, uh, jego koktajl to first step. Antoni Wyszyński, his koktajl is... His koktajl's name is first step. Um, so... Uh, yeah, come here, man. Let's have a little chat. Okay, uh, so we, we had a little bit of confusion there, Martin. Do you want to just remind us who we're watching now? Oh, we're watching Anthony Wyszynski, who just, who just made a uh, signature move that wasn't really his, I guess. Anyway, um, in his cocktail called First Step, we have 40 mils of Finlandia vodka, we have 10 milliliters of uh, Monin Rosé, we have 20 mils of orange liqueur, 5 mils of orange oleosaccharin, um, and 30 mils of lime juice. Anthony's cocktail name for you guys in the home is the first step. I think this might be one of his first ever flair competitions, so that's nice to see that he has goals for a long and hopefully prosperous flair career. Let's see if we can nostalgically look back at this routine in, in 10 years' time as a new world champion. You never know, it could be you. One minute. And uh, this is something we uh, spoke about before. When you make a mistake, try not to... This just comes with experience so much, and you know, every time you go on stage as, as a rookie, you're always learning. Every competition you can but take away five things that you don't do next time. Exactly, but most likely, for sure, he's gonna... The guy on stage now, he's gonna watch his performance, and he's gonna hear what are we talking about. So let's say hello to Anthony, watching Anthony. this uh, next week. Exactly. <laughs> and, um, Yes, sir, it's absolutely true. I mean, I, I always used to watch when I competed in Flamini, I watched the guys saying uh, some things about me because I wanted to know their opinion. Exactly, exactly. So, and Anthony, if we could give you anything to take away from this competition, it would be seconds. to get more stage Ten practice, seconds. get more stage time, do more competitions. The more competitions you do, Five, the more comfortable you four, feel on stage, the more naturally it will come. Two, and then work on the flare one, after this. Time. Make and he finished noise, nicely Anthony. on the clock. Garnish. Shaky hands there, it happens. Happens, man. It does. Good job, man. Always never.